Okay, well, uh, we're going to create a post. Okay, uh, we can do it one of two ways. We can create a post up here by clicking Create Post, and a little dialog box will come up, and it looks like this, and it's empty. And there are our categories down here, the classes that we assigned to categories earlier on. But uh, I'm not going to do that because we've got a blog post already. It's called Welcome to Your Blog. And, and so what we can do, uh, we can edit this page. Uh, and I'm just going to take hold of this. I'm not going to edit this page. I'm going to have a look at this. Um, click on the actual um, Welcome to Your Blog. And this takes me off to the actual blog post. And this is the dummy uh, data. You know, like when you open up a template in Word and it's got it to lorem and all that stuff in it. Well, this is a dummy dummy text. So uh, we're going to just edit this and, and, and get rid of it. But before we do, um, what I thought I'd uh, try and do is do this blog post in sort of context. And so Year 10 and 11 have been looking at uh, sort of, uh, renewable energy, uh, nuclear energy and things like that. And so I'm going to create a post which uh, sort of um, has a little bit of an explanation here from YouTube. Here we go. The first explosion blew out the top part of a reactor containment building at the Fukushima number no. one nuclear power plant. Okay, well, I'm not going to sort of play that. This anymore. footing. But um, I've also got a really nice article here as well um, from The Guardian. Uh, revealed British government's plan to play down Fukushima. Internal emails seen by Guardian show PR campaign was launched to protect UK nuclear power plants after the tsunami in Japan. And, and just like um, uh, The Guardian, um, um, we can use um, the, the, this, this news item here to add a, re add a really interesting little bit of interactivity because what we can do, we can, we can try and get this information onto our blog uh, and let the kids comment on it and, and, and just step back and see what they say about things. You know, it's quite an emotive subject. Um, so um, let's get to it. Okay, so we've clicked on our blog. How do we get here? Just let me recap. Okay, on the main page, we have Welcome to Your Blog. You click on the blog. And uh, we go here, and it says edit. So we're going to edit our blog. And uh, our familiar dialog box comes up. Well, we're going to get rid of that title here. Off you go. We're not going to bother with that. So uh, nuclear power, question mark. Um, now, you can take your time and think of something a little bit more you know, penetrating and uh, clear than that. But I'm also going to get rid of this text in the body section. So you see the body there? OK, well, that's all this stuff in here. So uh, control A selects everything, delete. Now, um, I've, I've already typed up something in a separate um, uh, document which uh, I'm going to put into this post. Um, it's always a good idea, I mentioned before, to have some text typed up somewhere so you don't have to spend ages inventing something when you're met with one of these boxes uh, where you enter content into your, into your blog. So, um, bang, there we go. Oh, this is what I said. I said, hi class, I thought it would be a very useful uh, window into the world of nuclear power, whether it's safe or not. Have a look at the video and then have a read of the news article uh, and leave your comments at the bottom. Now, I've got loads of typos in here, so let's just tidy those up. Okay, uh, Baru, useful, uh, very useful, uh, and, and so on. Now, I'm going to um, attach a link, okay, and if you remember, okay, the link for the news article was up here, okay, so we're going to have that, just highlight all of that, copy it, and we're back here. Okay, so uh, I can put link to news article, come on, just so that they know what it is. Yeah. And then we can insert a link, okay, uh, and we can say from an address. Now the text to display is um, new uh, news, that will do. Uh, and the address, well I copied and pasted that from this tab up here, remember? Just a second ago, so paste that in there, okay. Now that means that that link is now live and it will go off there and um, now we can do one of two things, okay, we can display an icon, I can't be bothered to do that, uh, but we can open it in a new tab. What does that mean? Well it means that the link when they click on it uh, will open up in a, a separate sort of browser window which is still attached to the main window called the tab. And it just means that you don't have to keep going backwards and forwards. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay. Now who needs to know? Seventeen, do they know need to know about this? No, neither do eight born. Uh, these two key stage form classes, okay, uh, I'll click both of those and I'll add them. And that's not so bad, so we, 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 can, we can publish that. Okay, let's publish that there. And all of a sudden, that really boring um, welcome to your blog is changed, and we now have nuclear power. 
and uh, we've got a little link down here. Now, can remember it said opening a new tab? Bang, there we go. And what it means is that tab with this is kept open so the kids can get back to it, uh, and, and this opens there. Um, but more than that, uh, we can go back and we can edit this uh, again. Okay, now we can also have a link to YouTube. Now, it's not a very exciting thing to say a link to YouTube. Um, however, if we go to the YouTube video here, okay, we can click on this little thing down at the bottom that says share. So we can do one of two things. We can link to this video by, by copying this um, address here. Later on, I'll show you how to embed the video in your actual blog post. Right now, we can just go with the link to the video address there and go back to our page, okay? And uh, we can put in a link. Now, can remember, um, we're going to put it down here. So we go to insert link, and this pops up, okay? Um, CNN news report on the uh, Fukushima nuclear power plant disaster. Might be a bit too hasty to call it a disaster, it's certainly concerning. Paste in the address, click OK, bum bum ba. Okay, it's still got these people added and publish, and we should be back there. And uh, so we've got these two things here. Now, this is really great, so we're getting somewhere. They can see this here down here, and let's edit it one more time then. Um, because um, I don't know if you've noticed over here. I've got a home document. Now it's a blank, it's a dummy document, but I'm going to show you what it means anyway. Uh, and, and then we're going to have, um, let's say, background info from Mr. Feather. Okay, and that would be something to do with my homework that I might want to set on it. And there I'm going to insert, I'm going to upload a file, okay, uh, from, oops, upload and insert a file from my computer onto the page. So it's going to be this little document here. So I click that. And uh, I'm going to browse for this. Now, this is my home computer, okay? You know, but you'll find yours on the network or somewhere like that. It's on my desktop and it's called uh, Homework for Blog. There it is. Ta da! Okay, you won't open it, you'll just upload it. Well, click it and then click OK. And it will take a while for this to sort of upload. Do we want an image? No. Um, and just have a title. Few keywords, okay. Few comments, okay. Uh, it's, it's fairly obvious. A summary of what it is, okay. Uh, watch the video. Read the article. Comment on the um, homework tasks. Say or whatever it is. That will do, okay. Uh, the author is me, okay, and I'll just save it. Okay, publish. Ready? Off we go. Ta -da! How easy is that? Now, if you actually tell your children, okay, that uh, they can read the article, they can link to the YouTube uh, video there, and they can uh, they can pick up a homework document, which doesn't have to come from your desktop, can come from anywhere on the school network. Okay, and say, well, what I'd like you to do in groups, I'd like you to get your heads together, okay, and think about what the homework. Uh, was about in terms of the, the Fukushima nuclear disaster, and I'd like you to add some comments. And uh, once you do that, it's really, really straightforward and easy. So what we'll do is we'll save this, okay? Now, and uh, we'll go back to Mr. Feather's blog. And now the edits disappeared because we're out of edit mode, and we have our categories down here, our classes. We have created a post, okay? Nuclear power, okay? That was done on the 29th of June. And uh, I've got a news article, I've got a link to a little video, I've got a homework, and there's no comments. So if you were a pupil and you just logged in here and you just read that article and you'd seen the news and you'd looked at the homework thing, you'd say, hey, this is the title, the comment. Kids always use exclamation marks when they shouldn't, but that's appropriate, I think, there. Um, I don't like nuclear power, and here's why dot 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 um, and in here they could say uh, you know we have uh, opinion um, number one and here's 
why I think that uh, and a, a opinion and we're doing very well if we get two opinions out of a child okay opinion number two and here's and here's why I think that okay now we could submit that comment there okay and the really great thing about blogs is without a teacher in the way or without anybody else to sort of like uh, guide them pupils will feel like they can uh, they, they can add comments and here it is it's down here hey I don't like nuclear power and here's why and with enough pupils making comments on carefully constructed much more carefully constructed blog posts than we've just done here you get the message uh, you will start getting them having a dialogue with each other and that's the first thing that's really really cool about blogs okay well I've talked for far too long so um, let's move on to something else Okay, that's the end of this video where we made a post, added links, and a document, and learned how comments work.